Hello everybody! In the previous videos, we created our randomly appearing enemy and animated him. But our enemy just standing at one place. Let's make him move around the scene. I'm going to make our enemies move from one side of the ground to another. Let's create a couple of new empty game objects. First one will be left waypoint. Give it some visual detail and place it to the left side of our ground. And the second game object will be right waypoint. Place it to the right. OK. Now we are ready to modify an enemy cloud script to implement desirable functionality. Let's open cloud script in Mono Develop and add some code to it. First add some new variables. Public float move speed equals 3 for a start. Next will be transform left waypoint and right waypoint. The next will be vector 3, local scale. Then bool moving right equals true. And rigid body, rigid body. The next code will be in the start method. Local scale equals transform dot local scale. Rigid body equals get component rigid body 2D. Then left waypoint equals game object dot find left waypoint dot get component transform. And we can just copy left waypoint string and change left to the right. The next code will be in the update method. If transform.position x more than right waypoint position x then moving right equals false so we don't want to move right anymore if transform.position.x less than left waypoint.position.x Then moving right equals true. So we're going to the right. The next one will be an if statement. If moving right equals true, then move right. Else move left method. We don't have these methods yet, so let's create them. OK. First one will be move right method. Wait, move right.
moving right equals true, we're still moving right. Local scale dot x equals 1. Then transform dot local scale equals local scale. Then rigid body dot velocity equals new vector two local scale dot x multiply by move speed comma rigid body dot velocity dot y Move left method is very similar to move right one, so we can just copy it and change some values. It will be local scale dot x equals to minus one, and moving right equals false. Don't forget to save our script. Hit play, and now our enemies can walk from one side to another. But they collide each other, which is not what we are really expected them to do. To fix this issue, we have to put our enemies to separate layer. Choose Enemy Clown Prefab and click Layer drop-down menu, where we should add a new layer. Name it Enemy. Then click Enemy Prefab again and select Enemy layer for it. Now our enemy is placed on Enemy layer. Next thing we need to do is click Edit menu section, choose Project Settings and select Physics 2D item. Physics 2D settings will be opened in Inspector, where we are interested in layer collision matrix. All we need here is to uncheck enemy slash enemy field. Now all of the game objects on enemy layer will not collide each other. Let's hit play and see the results. Works fine. In the next video we're gonna manage the player and enemy collision. Thank you for watching, see you next time.